up everybody it's me joy so i'm just here to quickly do a little chit chat i haven't done a video in a long time um the one that i posted the other day i recorded that so long ago um and i just finally got around to it i know that i haven't done an aqua vlog for any of you who have Log into my channel and subscribe to me um, from a group that I'm in on Facebook. I know that I haven't done an aqua vlog in a long time, so I will do one because I do have an update. Um, I actually did discuss this in the group. Um, I had three aluminum barbs and I cleaned my tank and I thought to myself, let's do a good cleaning, a deep cleaning. Um, well, not too deep because I haven't cleaned my sand yet. Um, but I thought, let me do a deep cleaning. And the filter was ucky and um, there was something else. This, the filter sponge, the uh, biological matter that's in the filter, all that had like this brown sludge on it. And so me being a girl, I thought, hey, that looks gross. Let me clean it. <clears throat> Well, I cleaned it and I killed my fish. <laughs> I killed three. All of the other ones that are in there, I have mostly garamis, um, different varieties of garamis. I have a pleco. I had two plecos, but one of them died too, and I don't know why he died. I, I don't know. Um, and I have like three angelfish. Um, I'll do an aqua vlog so you guys can see it if you haven't. Um, but yeah, so I did a deep cleaning, uh, I rinsed off the biological matter, I rinsed off the, um, actually I changed, um, and just put a brand new, uh, filter sponge in, and later that night, um, uh, after I did it, and I'm looking around at the tank, cause I typically do that after I do my, uh, water changes. I just kind of look at them and you know to see how they're doing or whatever and I started to notice that one of the aluminum barbs was kind of like swimming sideways and so I didn't think anything of it because the angelfish and they've always done it they have always swam sideways um, especially when they go up to eat so I didn't think too much of it well before I went to bed and I went to go turn off the light the fish was dead so I took them out sent him off to fish heaven and I got worried. So the next morning when I got up, lo and behold, I had two floaters and they were the aluminum barbs and they were kind of swollen and they just looked really nasty. So I took them out, sent them off to fish heaven and I came to the group and I, you know, asked, well, what could have possibly happened? Well, <clears throat> don't make a dumb mistake if you are like me being a new fish keeper um i was told that gunk is good and so i am going to live with that gunk is good um i completely disturbed the cycle the whole biology environment of the uh, tank with all of the good bacteria and all that stuff i completely destroyed that and <clears throat> they just didn't handle it I'm glad that the other fish were um, more hardy than them and they all survived and everybody's doing okay now. Um, I do have a buildup now of algae um, and I just think that the one pleco that I have um, just can't keep up with it. Um, so I'll probably go get another one of those because once I got the two, because um, earlier on I did have an algae problem. Uh, falling asleep with forgetting to turn off the light and um, all that stuff made the algae grow so um, I think I'm gonna go get another pleco so that uh, it can help the other one out so I'll do um, actually I'll just go and do an, uh, an aqua vlog and put it on the end of this um, so I'll wrap this up but um, just wanted to come and give you guys an update on my tank. I was actually going to talk about some other stuff, but it doesn't even matter. Um, I'll do that in another video. And um, I think that's it. So, I, oh, I was going to change out the decor of the tank too. So, 
Um, I'm going to wait a little while to do that to just make sure that um, everything is back to normal as far as the levels and their comfortability in the tank and, you know, all the bacteria is back where it needs to be before I go and change things out. So I'm going to give them a chance to kind of do that. And that was probably maybe I think I'm on my second week since they died, since I did that or maybe, yeah, about two or three weeks ago. So I'm going to wait to do that. Um, and hopefully the next aqua vlog that I do, I'll have a new uh, scenery going on in there because I'm getting a little bored with it. I, I do love my aquarium. I do. Um, but I'm getting a little bored with it. So I'll put on the clip after this of the aqua vlog. Um, so you guys can see how everything's looking and um, I can talk about some of that other stuff. So I'll talk to you later. So here's the tank. I have a 55 gallon fresh water tank. Um, and these are the fish. Um, as you see, I have lots of gouramis, and I have three angelfish, and my little guys have been in here for a long time. They were here from the very beginning, and I don't know the date mark of when I started this, but you're more than welcome to go back and look at the videos and see the very beginning when I first started with the aquarium um, to just kind of date stamp it. Um, but there's my little guy right there. I have two of those. There were five, but oh, there he is. <clears throat> we are down to two, and these little guys are troopers. They used to be the tormentors of the tank, but um, they are definitely hanging in there. And they're turning out to be my favorite right now because they have been around for so long. That angelfish there um, had some trouble. And if you guys have been watching or if you're new, he always comes to the front when I'm here to get on camera. Um, but that angelfish there in the back, he had or she had... Um, some issues uh, with ick but we got that all cleared up and he had some fin rot um, and all that grew back um, but this is pretty much what I have going on I have some live plants in here if you guys can see the um, algae that has picked up on the rock hey how are you fish um, but <laughs> There is some on the glass. I don't know if you can tell. Um, and all of that was gone. Uh, but since I think because I only have the one Pleco. And he was just back here. I guess he's gone off to do other things. Um, yeah, I guess he's gone off to live his life. But they were doing a really good job at keeping the algae down between the two that I had. And um, now it's building back up. So I'm going to go get him a partner to take some weight off of him. But um, everything is looking good. And they're happy again. <laughs> everything is, oh, there he is on the rock. Oh, he just ran. Um, but he's down in the back. I don't know if you guys can see see his tail, but he's down in the back. Um, but everything looks good. Um, I think, like I said, I'm going to go get another, um, another Pleco and, um, get him some help with the algae and, um, Otherwise, I'm still really happy. It's, you know, just a great feeling to come and when I open the door and I see my beautiful tank. So that's it. And I will talk to you guys later. Mm -hmm.